The cold black waters of the Aleutian Islands have always held a certain mystique for me as a seasoned helicopter pilot in the Coast Guard, but they were also a silent menace. The archipelago stretched like a jagged knife into the Bering Sea, an unforgiving region where storms were as deadly as the isolation itself. I had flown in these conditions countless times, but no mission was ever routine, and tonight would be no different. This is Steve. This is one of many hundreds of search and rescue missions I commanded as a pilot. The alarm pierced the stillness of the night, jolting me awake from the light sleep that came with being on call. The static laced voice on the radio cut through the dim haze of the briefing room. A fishing boat 120 miles west of Dutch Harbor was taking on water and fast. In those waters, every second counted. The vessel, a crabbing boat, had a crew of six and they were fighting for their lives as freezing water poured through a breach in the hull. Within minutes, my crew and I were airborne, the HH-60 Jayhawk shuddering to life beneath the dark, swirling clouds. The flight would be a brutal two-hour push through high winds, icy rain, and treacherous visibility. As the rotors sliced through the night, I could feel the familiar weight of responsibility settle on my shoulders. This wasn't my first search and rescue mission in the Aleutians, but the remoteness, freezing temperatures, and ferocity of the ocean made every rescue here a high-stakes gamble. The helicopter's spotlight barely pierced the darkness as we approached the coordinates. The radio crackled again, was sinking faster now. The crew was preparing to abandon ship, but their life raft could easily be swept away in the violent seas. My heart pounded as I scanned the black void below, and there was no room for error. There, my co-pilot shouted, pointing out the dim lights of the fishing vessel. Barely visible amid the chaos of the waves, the boat was listing heavily to one side, its bow already disappearing beneath the sea. Hearing. I took a deep breath and steadied the Jayhawk fighting the gusts as we hovered over the doomed vessel. Lowering the rescue swimmer into the maelstrom was no easy task. The sea clawed at the small vessel as the wind battered the chopper, but I held steady, letting my years of training guide me. One wrong move could mean disaster not just for the crew of the sinking boat, but for my own team as well. The rescue swimmer hit the water and fought his way toward the men who had now abandoned the vessel and were clinging to a barely inflated life raft. One by one, my crew hoisted the fishermen out of the freezing water. Time blurred in the roar of the wind and the pounding of the waves, but after what felt like an eternity, all six men were safely aboard the helicopter. The return trip was tense. The fishermen were soaked and shivering, but alive. I kept my focus sharp, navigating through the storm, though my mind wandered to the sea below. I had seen too many men lost in these waters over the years. Tonight, though, we had beaten the odds. Back at base, as the adrenaline began to fade, I couldn't help but glance at the horizon. Was lost to the deep, another casualty of the unforgiving Bering Sea. But for the six men we had pulled from the jaws of the abyss, this night would be one of survival, a testament to the raw power of nature and the unwavering resolve of those who chose to face it. I took a long breath as I stepped out of the helicopter, the weight of the mission still heavy on my shoulders. Another night, another rescue, but the memories of the sea, the storm, and the fragile line between life and death would stay with me forever. Each mission was different, but they all shared one thing. When the call came, I would always answer, ready to face the abyss once more. If you want to see more incredible Coast Guard missions, make sure to subscribe and follow us. Stay tuned for more stories from the edge of the abyss.